here is our top 10 list of things to get when you arrive in China. So the first thing you want to get is a SIM card. In China, uh, there are two uh, big companies uh, that provide um, SIM cards and uh, mobile networks for the Chinese locals uh, and expats, and they are China Mobile and China Unicom. It's quite cheap to get a SIM card, but do not expect the same level of data or service here. Yeah, it, it's very cheap, um, but you will often have to top up your data and um, generally your calls and texts are, are fine. Uh, but it's, it's really cheap, it's just you know, not what you expect uh, coming from a Western country. It's a little different. Yeah. Number two is to get a Metro card. Um, I have a Shenzhen Tong which I use to load up and go about traveling on the metro and on the bus lines. Yeah, it's super cheap to go on that. And if you have a Shenzhen Tong, the metro card, it's actually you get like 10 cents off every time. It's about $2 to travel on the bus. Uh, short distances, uh, distances, longer distance will cost you more. But if you have the card, it's a few cents off. Yeah, it's uh, incredibly cheap and convenient and you can actually uh, load up the card with a lot of money and use it to pay for other things as well in shops and you can use it to pay for your taxes. Yes, that's very convenient. And right now currently Shenzhen has lines in the Fujian district, in the central district, it goes everywhere. But in the future they're planning to open up even more lines going to further outskirts of Shenzhen. Yeah, and they might even connect to uh, Hong Kong directly and uh, a few other different cities in the Guangdong province. Number three on our list is sanitizer and uh, packets of tissues. The toilet facilities here in China are not quite up to your own standards. At least it's not really up to my standards, especially the public ones. Uh, there are often <laughs> lack of soap in the washroom, so you can wash your hands, but without soap, you're not that clean. And also, not all uh, washrooms come with tissue paper, toilet paper, so you should have some ready just in case, as well as restaurants don't always give you tissue, so you should have that with you as well. Uh, another note, toilets are mostly squats in China. Yeah, uh, you'll have to get used to that. Um, but basically, always be prepared. Number four on our list is a water dispenser and water filter. Yeah, um, it's very hot in Shenzhen, China, so you're going to be drinking a lot of water, uh, which means going out and buying big bottles of water is not very convenient. So we actually have a water dispenser and we get uh, big bottles delivered to us, um, which are fantastic, it's great. Um, it's not very expensive as well. Yeah, that's true. Um, we also have a water filter that we use to um, make sure that we have clean cooking water. Uh, there's not so much water pollution within Shenzhen, um, but you know a lot of the buildings have different standards and regulations in China, and some can be quite old now. Uh, so, you know, you don't know kind of what you're getting in the water, so it's best to be safe than sorry. Yeah, protect yourself. Number five on our list, and something that uh, everyone in uh, Shenzhen uh, will know and laugh at as soon as I say this, is sunglasses and umbrellas. Well, uh, in Shenzhen, the summer here is very, very long. The hot weather is here for almost six months out of the year. So you're going to need sunglasses, especially if you have like light blue eyes like Neil does. You're going to want to protect your eyes. Umbrella is not only good for rain, but it's also good for the sun. You have no idea how a little bit of shade can keep that heat off of you. 
but I still prefer to stay inside where there's AC, if I can. Yeah, so along with uh, your sanitizer and toilet, toilet tissues uh, in your backpack, uh, if you put a, a little umbrella and some shades, uh, this is your everyday kit for yeah. Shenzhen. Number six on our list is a printer. Yes, um, it's really difficult to get copies here. Uh, yes, you can go into a place and using minimal English get a photocopy, but if you're like me and have copies saved on your USB, trying to explain you know where the files are on your USB and you know what you want, uh, where to actually get copies in China, it can be quite com uh, confusing. So it's a lot more convenient to get a printer um, to print out your documentation, uh, flashcards, anything that you need for your teaching, like worksheets, etc. Um, and also, in addition, it's private, so you know that if you print something off, that you will be the only person that has a copy of that. Yes. And you can get a printer you know, quite cheaply here, uh, especially if you use JD or Taobao or Baopao's. And number seven on our list is the air purifier. So, one of the things that a lot of people coming to China are worried about um, from the news in the West is air pollution. Now, we're in Shenzhen, so the air pollution here is not actually that bad. It's probably comparable to, say, London or um, other major capital cities uh, like LA, for example, yeah. that have got a history with uh, their air quality problems. Um, now, actually, in the winter, it will get a little bit worse uh, just because uh, the coal production kicks up here. Um, so I recommend getting an air purifier just to have a, a good long night's sleep, uh, especially if you've got allergies as well, like myself, um, you need one. You basically just need something that's got a HEPA filter that will filter out the PM uh, 2.5 particles, which are the ones that cause people problems and a strong fan. You can just get a local brand like myself. Um, I have a Xiaomi uh, air purifier that's got a very strong fan, it's got a HEPA filter, and it does the job. Cheap and cheerful, it was about 800 RMB, and you were able to get that through Taobao. So use a ta Chinese friend if you don't know how to use Taobao, or you can just navigate with translation uh, through your computing device. Number eight is rice cooker and oven. Both of these devices are very convenient. It's kind of like a set and forget it uh, cooking device. With the rice cooker, easy, you wash your rice, you put it in, you set it, and it cooks beautiful rice in I don't know, half an hour or so. And with the oven, especially if you're used to Western cooking, you're gonna bake a lot, you wanna roast things, you need to have an oven. None of the apartments here, unless you're super lucky or you pay for a really expensive apartment, comes with an oven. So they're often just microwave ovens. So they do sell them in a bit bigger size, but they're just tabletop. They're not gonna fit like a tray of 24 cookies. You're probably gonna fit 12. Yeah, uh, after a long day's teaching, you don't want really want to think about your food. You just want to bang something in there and you know, leave it and forget it. Uh, and these are the two devices that we use to accommodate that. Yeah. Number nine and ten, we've combined them to show you how important we think this is, is friends. Both expat friends and local Chinese friends make them and because in China it's all about connections like you can help them they can help you especially if you're in an expat community everybody needs a little bit of help and with the Chinese local people they're great with helping you with translating you can offer uh, friendship you can help them with learning English as well yeah it's all about connections in China and 
your internet is not as much of a resource as it is back home for finding information about local events and how to do certain things here. It's often better that you just talk to somebody and find mm -hmm. out what the deal is, what the the down low. <laughs> <laughs> and often you'll see like people that have been in Shenzhen for a long time, so they're great resources and they're more than happy to help you. Yeah, we've all been there, um, so if you do come here and you do learn a little bit of, while you're here, please pay that forward uh, and help out as many expats uh, and local people as you can. Um, share and share alike. So if you like our video, please subscribe to our channel. And like us. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Bye-bye.